Hello everybody, it's SD Medhaven here today, and uh, they finally got the updates out, so we can now take a look at everything that's going on. And yeah, let's, let's just <laughs> jump right into this. Alright, so, World of Tanks, console update coming, December 14th, 2020, so that's today, that, you know, just the day it's been uploaded. Now, it's one of our biggest updates ever. See what changes are coming to World of Tanks console. Are you ready for a sleeker, neater taking experience? Our latest update is on its way and is bringing massive changes to the look and feel of the game, as well as some key game systems. So I, I do have a couple of questions on key game systems, but primarily they're, they're talking about crews, reusable consumables, a couple of other things, you know, not, nothing too crazy. Uh, commander system. So in place of crews, the World of Tanks console upcoming update will implement the new commander system. Exiting cr Existing crews will be promoted to commanders to result a system that's simpler for new players to understand and easier to manage with only skills to keep track of. So only skills to keep track of. Um, it, it makes me think on what they're they're talking about right there. So only skills because we have perks and then we have skills. So, perks, actually, let's go ahead and bring you guys right back into the game here. Let's take a look at my crew that I have on right now. So, skills and perks. So, skills have a lightning bolt. Perks have the little, you know, whatever emblem that is. Or, I could be wrong, it could be completely opposite. Or, maybe perks are the lightning bolt and skills are that one. Because I do know um, if you have, let's say, a perk in training or a skill in training, skills, you can actually, so like camouflage right here, you can consistently train this and it'll just, whatever the percentage of the training is, is how effective it is. So let's say um, my uh, controlled impact right now is at 93%, which means rather than getting the full 15% benefit towards ramming and reduction, I get like a 13.7. You know, because it's almost 100%, but it's not, not quite there. Same thing about firefighting, uh, situational awareness, clutch breaking. You know, like whenever you transfer a crew, you drop all those perks, well, all those skills down to 75%, and then they're not fully effective until you're at 100%. So that's, uh, yeah, that's... Quick way to jump into that. All right, let's bring it back here. The so commander system. Yeah, skills keep track of. Boom. All right, consumables. Get ready for new, more powerful consumables that can be used by tanks of any nation. So, I don't know what they mean by any nation, because we've already had them for every single nation, except for premium consumables. We are streamlining the list of consumables, items, and covering all of your existing consumables while converting all of your existing consumables in an upgraded version so you can get the benefits of these updated items right away. Equipment. Now, I already read over equipment and I have a couple of questions on what they're talking about. So we're also updating the types of equipment available and the ways they function. All right, so six cents, um, you know, that, that's a perk. That goes off because of guys that are running coded optics, binoculars, um, so far, they have updated the way that camouflage net works. You know, beforehand, it was a 25% overall, and it just, yeah, it was overpowered because you can put it on some of the best tanks in the game and get a crazy coverage. No problem. If you guys caught the stream yesterday, I had way too much fun inside of a Vanguard with a camouflage net. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we are also updating the types of equipment available. And the ways they function. Our new equipment list includes familiar items that have been updated and renamed along with all new items. So I really wonder, are we getting equipment 2.0 tomorrow or not? Uh, additionally, with this update, all tanks, new and existing, will have the new enhanced targeting info automatically installed. This equipment can be removed at no cost or credit to you. So the fourth equipment slot I don't know if it's going to be limited to what you can put inside of it or not. It, it would be pretty cool if they do limit that rather than being able to put on, let's say, gun rammer, ventilation, 
vertical stabilizers, and then just to stack coated optics on top just to bolster every single aspect of your tank. So I hope that they really do work on this equipment. But I'm definitely going to be trying out that enhanced targeting info. And I really want to see how that works. Tank skins. All right, my number one thing that I'm excited about. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> All you tankers who enjoy customizing your vehicles with emblems, inscriptions, flags... We love this part about the update. Get ready for an all new way to change the look of the entire tank skin. Specifically, skins. Come on, guys. Get stoked. I'm stoked. All right, so the new tech we have implemented as part of the update has made skins a reality. Oh, yes. I uh, got a little excited. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little stoked. I wonder what tanks are going to have the skins or if it's going to be all of them or just a tier 10 specifically or every single line going up and down all right how you will look when you roll out into the battle i'm stoked about skins i just hope it, they're just not behind a paywall okay world of tanks consoles next generation this is for the guys who own you know playstation 5 or the xbox series x which i do plan on getting a series x whenever i can uh, don't forget world of tanks console will run at 4k 60 frames a second on the series x and playstation 5 get ready <laughs> get ready to tank away and enjoy faster load times on these consoles so load times i'm already loading in faster than a lot of people and that's because i don't have the stock equipment inside of my my xbox my xbox was a sweepstakes from about three years ago and i've got better ram just just not a whole crap load you know regular xbox one x only has eight gigs i've got 12 and then along with that, I also have an SSD rather than an HHD. So I have a solid state drive rather than a mechanical hard drive. So I load in a lot faster just to begin with. Um, hub and PBRS. What is PBRS? Let's find out. Not only will the heads up display HUD have a refresh look, it will also contain new information to help you in the battle. So the way that let's say pc works is that on the left and right side of the screen you can see the tanks that are inside of it um there's kind of a total hit point pool also included on that so we'll, we'll see how that goes uh post battle results screen oh, okay so post battle results screen offers new tabs and even a salute to the top three players in a match i like that it's kind of like a a rating system since they introduced the report system and this time it's going to be you know give, give those guys thumbs up and say thanks you know like you, you get a scout that went out there doesn't do crap worth of damage and he's got four thousand assists you know give that guy a thumbs up definitely he put in some work to get that assist making it to where you don't have to risk yourself all right customization systems here we go when you select one of your tanks in the vehicles tab formerly known as the garage you'll be able to open the customization menu a series of tabs that contain all the info you need to know about the vehicle and its and all of the screens <laughs> what screens where you can customize it so is there gonna be like 10 different screens i mean we've, we've already got you it's easy access go to customize we have four we got camouflage inscriptions emblems flags they're just gonna be adding skins call it good that'd be nice and as you guys can tell, my dyslexia. Let me get my glasses. Here we go. Ah, now I can see better. Just kidding. They're not working. They kind of hurt my eyes right now. I haven't been wearing them too much. <laughs> okay, so linear vehicle progression. So basically straight line. They're making it easier to understand everything that's going on. To make the upgrade process cleaner and easier to understand, we are implementing a linear vehicle progression, a single path. As I said, single path, they're making it a straight line to a, reach elite tank stats with checkpoints along the way where you can fit your tank with different modules. So modules is really a very, very specific word that they just used right there. Um, best example that I can give of this would be let's go ahead and jump right back into the game here so whenever they say modules this is something that's got me a little bit worked up so individual modules is the t so yeah the, the t220 the turret that's a specific module the 85 millimeter f 
30 is a specific module, the engine specific module, track specific module, and then this is a package that we jumped up to. But whenever they say module, you know, can fit your tank with different modules, are they talking that I can put the best turret on this tank that has 130 all around it before I equip the best gun? So leaving it with the stock gun, getting the best turret, or who knows, even leaving the stock turret and getting the best gun. So lots, lots of questions, lots of things that they're doing, but we will find out tomorrow what that's going to be like. It's going to be a big update. Clear up some space in your Xbox if you need to. The update's possibly going to be 20 or so gigs. It's going to be huge. Profile tab. All right, so the new profile tab contains a ton of of info about your gameplay experience your stats in all of your vehicles okay so don't see a difference here because we already have all the stats of our vehicles we just don't have like um wot stars or wot info stat statistics uh, medals you've earned account activity store purchases commander recruitment etc and more all right and then we have uh portal store discount as of december 8th the link in the game store will no longer be available on the website portal. Oh, that's sad. All right, don't worry. The store will be still be available. It will continue to be accessible in-game where you can get your in-game content the moment you need it. Log in your console for a limited time. Tank bundles, exclusive deals, gifts, and more. So this right here is actually going to affect me a lot because I like to come over to the website here and I like to go store, so if they do remove that tab, um, you know, let's say I come over, I select the KV-122, I hit purchase, buy his gift, and then I can type in your guys' gamer tag right here. Nice, simple, easy, fast. But now I'm going to have to add you guys on console, and then possibly have to get a whole PlayStation just in order to uh, be able to get you guys. So, yeah. 6.0 is coming out tomorrow, and I don't know about you guys, but uh, number one thing I'm stoked about, definitely, definitely tank skins. And I mean, don't get me wrong, consumables, reusable consumables is going to be tight. Uh, commander system, we'll see how that turns out. Fingers crossed that it's going to be really nice. Um, Other than that, I got nothing, you know, and enjoy the update. I'm not going to be able to play it the second it comes out. So, yeah, y'all... Yeah, um, catch the stream on Wednesday. Um, I probably won't be talking a whole lot. It'll be mostly Blade and Toto. Possibly Toto, if Toto can be here. Um, I'm going to be going to the dentist. Like I'll probably you know say a couple things, but you guys can laugh at me each time I talk. So, yeah. Uh, World of Tanks, huge undertaking. We can see, wait, blah, 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 blah. New tools, overall, refined experience, rollout. All right, cool. So... Yeah, plus Wednesday will be, you know, just going over 6.0, what we think about it, how it feels. And then starting Thursday, possibly Thursday, I will start doing my tech tree grinds. And the first tech tree grind that we are going to be going after is going to be... I'm going to probably have to do a mix, but the first nation that I really want to slap out, starting all the way from the bottom to the top, is going to be the Progetto 65. So, you know, tune in on Thursday to catch that. Um, other than that, you guys have a great day. Uh, leave in the comments if there's anything else, you know, you feel like I missed or I should go over. And uh, we'll try and get that done on the uh, live stream or things that you guys would like to see. So, other than that, have a fantastic day. Uh, Christmas is right around the corner. Hope you guys got your tree set up. Unless you uh, don't celebrate it, then, you know, sad. I honestly enjoy my cinnamon rolls on christmas morning and you know getting to see everybody and have some fun so i am monologuing again holy crap i need to stop doing this well yeah i don't have too much fun i'm out of here i'm gonna go grind up some eights so if you guys want to catch me today start playing some eights